What's up guys, Blizzard Productions here, back with another video, and today is week 5 of the NFL. Before we get started, I wanted to say a couple things. First off, is that the Jaguars and the Bills game has already ended up because I'm filming this about 10 minutes before all the other NFL games end up starting. So I wanted to tell you guys that I made that prediction, and I made all the other predictions, I always make the predictions, about a day or two before. So I made that prediction a day ago, so I wanted to tell you guys that I actually ended up getting that prediction wrong, and Anyways, and you'll hear why I thought that the Bills were going to win. So anyways, I wanted to get that out of the way and tell you guys that. Also, there are some really good games happening. I'm really excited for the game tonight between the Niners and the Cowboys. So I'm really excited about that matchup. I'm excited about other matchups happening in the NFL. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. Starting off, we have the early morning game, the Jaguars taking on the Bills, and I have the Bills coming away with the win. Now, this is technically supposed to be a home game for the Bills, but it's being played in London, and if you've watched any of the London games, when it's a Jaguars game, the Jaguars have a humongous fan base in London. So with that being said, it's going to be more like a home game for the Jaguars. Now, the Jaguars also always play really well when it comes to playing in London, but the thing is, is that the Bills offense and defense is really strong especially this year so with that being said i have this being a super close game but i have the bills coming away with the win by like a field goal or a touchdown moving on we have the saints at the Patriots, and I think that the Patriots are going to come away with the win. Now, both these teams, I have really not seen anything special with them, but I just think that the Patriots will have a little bit more of an advantage because they're going to have that home field advantage, and I think that their offense will finally start to warm up. Now, Mac Jones has not been doing that good this year, but I think this is the game that he's going to turn around. So with that being said, I had the Patriots coming away with the win. Moving on, we have the Tennessee Titans at the Indianapolis Colts, and I have the Titans coming away with the win. Now, I think that's going to be a close game, but I do not think that it's going to be that high scoring of a game. I really have not seen that much impressive things from both these offenses. Now, the only reason why I think that the Titans are going to win is because they have a veteran quarterback, Ryan Tannehill, whereas the Colts, they have a rookie quarterback, Anthony Richardson. So with that being said, I think that Anthony Richardson, in a time when the game is really close, is going to make a rookie mistake and throw like an interception or a pick six and that's going to be the game winner moving on we have the baltimore ravens at the pittsburgh steelers and i have the ravens coming away with the win now it depends what type of steelers end up showing up will it be the good kind or the bad one because sometimes they can have some really good games and sometimes they can have some terrible games they're coming off a terrible loss to the texans and i really did not see anything special about that game for them so their spirits are down right now but the ravens ended up blowing out the browns last week so their spirits are really high so with that being said I had the Ravens coming away with the win. Moving on, we had the Carolina Panthers at the Detroit Lions, and I have the Lions coming away with the win. And not only will they come away with the win, but it's going to be a blowout victory. I think that the Lions are the better team. They obviously are. They have three wins and only one loss, whereas the Panthers don't even have a win yet. So with that being said, the Lions already have that advantage for them. And not only that, but they're also playing at home, so they have the home field advantage. So with that being said, I think that their offense is going to produce very well. Their defense is going to stop the Panthers. There's a whole bunch, and I have a blowout victory for the Lions. Moving on, we had the Texans at the Falcons, and I think that the Texans are going to come away with the win. I think that the Texans are the better team, and I think that it's going to be a really low-scoring game, but I think in the end, the Texans are going to come away with the win. Moving on, we had the Giants at the Dolphins, and this is going to be a blowout victory for the Dolphins. The Dolphins are definitely the better team coming into this one. They are the number one scoring offense in the NFL right now, and they're going up against the Giants, who are the last place when it comes to scoring in the NFL right now. The Giants have not looked good at all this season, especially when it comes to offense, and it's the exact opposite for the Dolphins. The Dolphins are doing incredibly good for their offense their rushing is super good they have that dude hn or something like that that running back and mostert who are both really good running backs so far and then they have two attack of Iloa, as well as tyreek hill so they have a lot of offensive weapons right now whereas the giants really don't have anyone so with that being said i have a blowout victory for the dolphins moving on we had the Bengals at the cardinals this should be a close matchup but i had the Bengals coming away with the win now this is going to be a close matchup like i said and honestly i think that the cardinals are the better team coming into this but 
the Bengals really need to have a win today because they really need to show that they are still the Bengals. I mean, they have just been not having a good season at all so far. They only have one win and they have three losses, but they need to show their fans that they are still the Bengals. Joe Burrow needs to have a pretty good game. He has not been having good games ever since he signed that contract with the Bengals. So we'll see how this game goes. I think that the defense will be a big factor. I think that the Cardinals will honestly do pretty good. Josh Dobbs will be in for the Cardinals again. He didn't do bad against the Niners at all last week. So we'll see how this game goes, but I think that the Bengals will come away with the win. Moving on, we have the Eagles at the Rams, and this should be a pretty good game, but I have the Eagles coming away with the win. I think that it will be a good game, like I said. I think that the offenses will do pretty well, but I think that the defense for the Eagles is better than the Rams, and I think that their offense is better as well. I think, though, it will be a back-and-forth game. Lots of offense at certain parts of the game and lots of defense at other parts of the game, but I think that it will be a close game, and I think that Jalen Hurts will start to go off towards the end, and I think that the Eagles will come away with the win. Moving on, we had the Jets at the Broncos, and I think that the Jets are going to come away with the win. I think that the Jets are the better team. They did just come off a loss in the Sunday night football game against the Chiefs, but I mean, they fought really hard, and I mean, there was some controversial calls that were in that game. I honestly think that the Jets should have won that game, but like I said, it was a really close game. They played very well against the Chiefs, so coming into this game, I think that they're going to be a little bit mad about the outcome of their last game. Game, and I think that they're going to take out that anger on the Broncos. Now, for the Broncos, they just have not been good this season at all. They finally did just get their first win, but that's just not going to be enough. They didn't play that well still in that win, and I think that the Broncos are going to end up losing by a lot. Moving on, we had the Chiefs at the Vikings, and I think that the Chiefs are going to come away with the win. I think that the Chiefs are the better team, but they have definitely been underperforming this season, but so have the Vikings. So I think that this game will be a little bit of back and forth until about halftime. After halftime, I see the Chiefs starting a warm up, and they'll win by about two or three touchdowns. Moving on, we have the Sunday night football game, the Cowboys at the Niners, and I have the Niners coming away with the win. This is going to be a really, really good game, though. This is a historic rivalry. The crowd is going to be super loud. It's going to be a sold-out stadium for sure, and I mean... It's going to be a Niners home game, so the Niners are going to be definitely in favor when it comes to the crowd noise because when Dallas is on offense, you can expect that noise to be super loud. So it's going to be really hard to hear the snap count, all that. But with that being said, the Dallas offense and defense is incredibly good, but same with the offense and defense for the Niners. So both teams, I feel, are evenly matched. It's just going to come down to the very last play and who shows up when it comes to the biggest play of this game so with that being said i had the niners coming away with the win and last but not least, we had the Monday Night Football game, the Packers at the Raiders, and I had the Packers coming away with the win. I think that the Packers are the better team, but both teams are just completely average. I don't expect much in this game. I don't really think that it's going to be that good of a game. I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. Both defenses are pretty good, and both offenses are just average. So with that being said, I have the Packers coming away with the win, just because I think that they have the better coach. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed way of making it and put down in the comment section if you agree or disagree with any of my takes and why. I'm really looking forward to the game that's happening tonight between the Niners and Cowboys. Like I said, I'm a Niners fan, so I'm really excited because, you know, I'm a Niners fan, so I get to watch my team play. But also because this is just a historic rivalry. Like I said, this is going to be a great game. There's going to be a lot of energy in this game. And I mean, every play will count in this game. So I'm really looking forward to seeing who will come away with the win. And so with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.